My name is Charlie McLean. I am a writer. I write principally about Scotch whisky, and I act as a sort of a consultant to the, particularly to the, the, the whisky industry. I'm principally a whisky drinker, but I mean I do drink beer, obviously, from and have done forever. And I must say, I'm terribly impressed by these products. They really are quite different from the standard commercially made beers. And they just give the impression of being extremely well made, you know? I suppose that's the sort of craft element, you know? The, these things, whiskey and beer, um, it's not a random process. I mean, the brewer or the distiller knows exactly what, the, what, what flavor profile he wants from his, from his brew, what he's trying to achieve. The products from these smaller breweries um, are very distinguished and worthy of not only just nice to drink, but they reward attention in the same way that um, Scotch malt whiskey um, rewards consideration. For example, I was tasting uh, a beer from Stuart Brewing in Edinburgh uh, yesterday called Kapai, which was ex quite extraordinary fragrant. My tasting note reads um, that it smells like a Buddhist temple. It's not exactly incense, but it's highly perfumed in a most extraordinary exotic way. His beers, for example, seem to me to have a very attractive, slightly waxy characteristic, both on the nose and in the mouth. Sander Blonde from Loch Fine Brewery, which is an IPA, although it's pale gold in color, quite frothy, light in style, light in appearance. A session beer, I think you would describe it as, but it has fruity characteristics, fresh fruity, slightly, the, 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 the taste is sweet, then lightly bitter, very nicely balanced, slightly waxy, that's another characteristic that is, um, that I've discovered in several of these, these beers. Thoroughly nice, pleasant, easy to drink um, uh, session beer. Findhorn Killer from the Speyside Brewery, also highly aromatic, very nice, it's an IPA again, um, it's got good colour, lovely deep sort of bronze colour, even slightly meaty and I also detected coffee, coffee grounds, which is quite interesting. It's more substantial in, in its texture and, um, and, it, and, and in its flavour, more, it's a, got a bigger flavour, again thoroughly well made. Beer. One of the most successful of all the ales that we represent is from Williams Brothers and it's called Alba. It's made with fresh pine needles and spruce needles. This enhances the fragrance and it gives it a distinctly piney, resinous note. Totally unique. It's a, it's a flavor that I've never come across before. Um, it's obviously still a, an, an ale, but it's inspired by ancient recipes and um, it starts at sort of slightly sweet taste and then finishes slightly bitter. It's refreshing, it's crisp, it's clean. Um, a thoroughly nice, lighter style of, um, of beer. At the other end of the scale, compared to these light style, light colored, are beers like Rascal from the Inveramond Brewery in Perth, which is very, very dark. Black coffee with ruby lights, it's extraordinary. But then you start getting um, aromas of uh, coffee grounds, um, maybe licorice. I mean, it's very, very aromatic perfume, but in an entirely different way, a more, if you like, more masculine perfume. By contrast, the, the, the taste is remarkably light. It's quite, a, it's quite a strong beer, but the taste is quite light. It's very easy, easy to drink. I've never tasted anything like it. It's a, it's a truly unique product. Another very dark one is, is Tushkar from the uh, Lerwick Brewery in Shetland. Very, very dark. It's an oatmeal stout, as a matter of fact. It's a sort of a herbal, um, mossy, um, earthy uh, character. An extremely unusual flavor, um, and a very well-made and very attractive, very easy to drink product. That theme runs through all these beers.